I'm assisting Martin, the master chef here at ForkyKitchen.com, and then today we'll discuss about WAFs, what what WAFs are, um, and then how to create WAFs uh, from OCI and from uh, using a Terraform module. So, what are WAFs? So, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Application Firewall, shortly called WAFs, is a cloud-based PCI-compliant global secure service which protects applications from malicious or unwanted internet traffic. So OCI WAF can protect any internet-facing endpoint, providing consistent rule enforcement across customer's application. Let me go ahead and then um, see what uh, looks like. To, for example, in this case, I'm looking at two different um, setups. So the WAF, the first one is a um, complete network setup where my server, which is not protected by any WAF, and on the right, I'm looking at a my application server or anything, any web app being protected with WAF, WAF which we could see um, is existing between the client and internet gateway in this case. So what would happen um, basically is like if let's say you're planning on a PHP um, attack or maybe you know DDoS attack, all of these will be blocked by um, the WAFs uh, which exist in, bit in between. And let me um, create one WAF uh, around one application which I created and then we can see how it's preventing those attacks. So I'm using the Terraform module available um, on GitHub and let me just apply the Terraform module here and so while it's creating so it will take some time to create for the test VAS policy so it's called VAS or WAF on GitHub so fast forward, once the WAF is created, um, let's go ahead on to the OCI uh, console and then see how, what are those options available. So here, my, here I'm looking at uh, different options here. For example, metrics, origin management um, is what any specific origins that we're trying to protect from. So the protection rules, for example, let's, um, in this case, there is this one specific application, which is, you know, which has just one web app with um, you know, input fields or uh, um, other details available, for example, payroll in this case. So what are you, uh, you know, any hacker or uh, like peop uh, person who is trying to attack this web app would do? They would try different attacks and then see um, if he could access any of these data uh, and possibly use that uh, to break into that code. For example, in this case, let me try and do to find all the apps or you know the files that have been used to create this application for example if you see this command i'm trying to read uh, the files and then all the file names and convert them to you know to strings and then see if i can use them to reverse engineer uh, any of those details so once i do that and then submit um, i see that it's been forbidden so if the app is not protected you would see um, all the details of the file names here and uh, if I go ahead and then do another option where I'm trying to read a file which is server.js that what that would do is basically um, prevent again prevent um, in my case so the same thing when you know um, if I used for example in this case if I go ahead and then um, try to read the server.js file which is not secured what would happen is you would be able to see all the details whereas in my other application so it gets blocked see yeah that's 403 forbidden so if you go to the OCI console what's happening here is um, so if you see the protection rules these are the rules that are being applied for example in this case I'm looking at the PHP injection attack being detected and then the other rules for example um, any specific um, rule that is being applied to block so that I've created the action to be blocked so you have three different options either to just detect and do nothing log or just you know block the specific um, attack on that specific website or the web app that we are trying to save so we have other options like um, you know metrics so where we could go inside and then see okay so what's what kind of protection rule what are those block requests and what time start and end time that has been done and the traffic uh, if you're interested you know either to create an alarm out of that or 
uh, explore that in the metrics explorer on the OCI. So the other um, thing which I would be interested in either access control where I would want to either add spe specific access rules or maybe even IP whitelist if I want to do whitelist. All of these options are available um, on the Terraform options uh, which uh, I'll show in a bit and then we always can go back to the logs and then see what exactly has happened to that specific um, you know in this case I am my this client IP address where I am trying where the attack has been initiated has been blocked by the protection rule created from the WAF so let me show the Terraform script so here so we are looking at different tenancy ID user ID and um, other options which we would preset in the beginning and then once we have all of these uh, what we are looking at are so you can set up the certificates for the website um, you could create the addresses and uh, for for example in this case you have a couple of addresses here and then creating the WAF policy with the specific compartment compartment ID and the domain um, you know primary and secondary uh, which are available on um, the OCI console and if I go to the github so Terraform providers uh, it's available as WAS so if I go to examples I have the same Terraform module available as WAS folder so I go here and then um, I just use this WAS full option which could be used so you could use all of the options or uh, some of the options for example creating the bot um, I haven't used that bot or other uh, creations here so I have not managed you know the JavaScript challenge or other options here uh, for creating or using um, with the WAF. Um, these are open to explore and uh, feel free to explore the either the Terraform module or maybe even the Oracle doc WAF documentation too. Thank you.